Shadow Generation Drop the contact Pop that noise Faking scores And riding bikes Playing games Just for fun Real life Ghost Rider Like and so Right Guardians of the Galaxy Here we go We ain't restocking Anytime soon Um Where were we? You all right there Drax? I am pondering that question And that makes total sense After what happened With Nikki And that twisted promise Having to watch the people we love die all over again? My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? It's more fun crafting my stuff, but I'll lend you a paw. Ah, uh, no, I just wanted to talk to you. I could really use a flark and drink right now. Oh, why, yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> Whoops. Uh, Gamora, I was only looking. Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I uh, actually never got a chance to say thank you for the doll. Oh, <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So, thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the Resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. Oh, do I do it? Or do I just end it? Oh, let's what do it. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's... Surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? 
No, just... I was really sure it was going to be a knife or something. Like I said, Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it, only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula. After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but I guess I'd do it for her. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. Okay. <laughs> He's going off there fighting. Hope somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those church idiots. Chew, <laughs> chew, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo, flark off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. <laughs> Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. I'm sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Okay, so. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? We're off to Xandar. are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. Who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. 
Lady Hellbender sends her regards, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> Nothing on that garbage scow, my salvage. Groot, find us a channel with less butthole content. Wow, it's weird. Fire! <laughs> Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounties are fine as you. Ain't a bad question. Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. Means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Not like you. I have done my research. Pure kill. It's inverted. Drop out and get a better angle to get caught. I got this. Trust me. These ships ain't dying fast enough. Oh, the best fighters in the galaxy. How much money did she offer these guys? Too much, because they ain't gonna survive this. Please try to leave. I would love to hunt you down. Private morning glory is running his mouth again. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Just make sure you're shooting while you do it. These guys have really bad timing. Another problem for our pile of problems. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? She will receive your splintered remains. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. After us, it means we're making a name for ourselves, right? Not sure how much we get out of taking one that crap name crap crap is legion of what crap. Is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Drop out and get a better angle if it gets too hot. Or feel free to point the guns right at him and charge. How much money did she offer these guys? More than that rabbit James worth, thief. These ships ain't dying fast enough. That's a fixable problem. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. Ain't nobody running, you dog hawker. <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Feel free to show off, Quill. Peter, they insulted my I'm picking baby. up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's I'm sure it's very comfortable. It will not be mocked. Then do something about it. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. We just confirmed that it will. Lady Skull 
shoot us the worst clock in timing. Who's she here? Just her goons. This time. Bad guardians. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Not hurt. for getting paid for killing us. Let me look up the contract real quick. Oh, 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 oh man. These guys are making jump pain. Really? I am Clary. Warrior of... <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We won't worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it. Punch it. Needs a tune up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my. Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, group. Let's see what's going on. Ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome to Novacore headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I am Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How may we assist you? Hmm. 
crippling indecision vexes me, Peter Quill. Choose! After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? That ain't okay. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick something, Peter. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not everything. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the con. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? The mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three, three cycles, it has spread, spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They. Actually, the world mind is a collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me that. <laughs> it can be stopped. Maybe not by us. But you're a war hero. You defeated the Shatari 12 years ago. The, the Resistance and its allies defeated the Shatari, not us alone. And, and not before the Shatari had destroyed our home world and decimated our people. Yeah, I don't like it either, bud. Should have run when we had the chance. We have already processed 12,472,865 combat scenarios. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth is 0.3%. That is a big number. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. Now, if you'll excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical. That we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. But you're Nova Corps leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot, we cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It... it is not magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The living computers of Xandar 
all know the Force. It exists because we exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. We, we recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional state is not our primary concern. We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Adam Warlock. Oh, the Warlock. Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Um. All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Accepting the promise. We got a job, Quill. I know. Those promises becoming real. Peter. Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go. I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And right. they find promise must be Groot. freely accepted. Oh yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix it. Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just can't do this right now. I need some rest. Nova Core. 
Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. Really? How did you... Ugh. I'm gonna get fleas. Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. And the bed smells. Great. Two time. Raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> I'll have to come back to this later. Once we're outside, should I be looking around, lifting stuff? Only if you want to get your hands all sticky. Wait for my signal before you touch anything. Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? <sighs> How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Well, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. Gotta be dreaming. Whenever there, let's go! Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Oh, oh, oh. Nobody hurts my friend! It's too far! 
Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. With faith, with the Matriarch's promise, how our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. I'm less certain of the others. The wooden one may have come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? <laughs> These are our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait, Drax. We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? <sighs> Locked.
Oh, I'm here, Rocket. Oh, thanks, Lark. Peter, Rocket, why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. Don't worry? D yeah, d you know. Be happy. I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? Mm -hmm. What, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking. Uh, think somewhere else. Stop singing. For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. I'm on. What are you thinking, Quill? Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> this is me singing a song. I hope you like it because <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good! She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit... The emergency door controls. Yes! Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Da 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 da. Don't worry. La da 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 da. Don't worry. Oh, it's, uh, something, something. Note for note. Peter, do I really have to do this? I mean, Cammy's a space llama, one who apparently doesn't even like my voice. Ugh. Oh, she. Okay, so I need her to go. Be happy. Mm. Let's get out of here. Stuck in my head forever now. Okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. Uh, do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys, I think she's doing it. I can't believe it worked. We're not on the sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flarkin' relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping 
Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine, I'm in. Any other objections? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Good, and let's go find our friend. Uh -oh. So I wonder what kind of this uh, world this one is. Oh, and how do you suppose we convince Drax to come back? Not sure we can get anything through that thick skull of his. Drax consists. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flock in Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, uh, the stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, wet fur is the worst! Now <laughs> <laughs> rock it down. You all right? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Right. So, when we come back, we'll be finding our pals so we can bring him back um, from the promise. Um, we'll see how that goes, shall we? Because, you know, Drax the Destroyer. But until then, guys, all the usual. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Give an opinion, you never know what will come back to you. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Shadow Generation, drop the contact, pop up noise, faking scores and raiding bites, playing games just for fun, real life, Ghost Rider, like and sub, like and sub.